That is $77 or higher. So this is what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into that trade area. So when I see this, I am now looking at this red area here and I'm saying to myself, if I can find any buy side liquidity from that line onwards, I should be short, correct? Is that what we understand about this whole process? If I can find buy side liquidity from that point onwards, I should be good to go. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look at for buy side liquidity on a five minute chart and I'm gonna sell into it, sell into it. So when I look at a five minute chart and I find the same area and there's the same area there, there's the line in my charts. I am looking for buy side liquidity. Well, there it is there, right? There it is. There's my buy side liquidity. I am going to try and sell into this. There's my buy side liquidity. I'm going to sell into this. You see it? So when we see these areas, there's my buy side liquidity. I'm going to sell into it. You see it? There's my buy side liquidity. I'm going to sell into it. So when we look at that from a 15 minute chart, we go back out to the 15 minute chart and we look back into that as a trade area. You can start seeing where all your sell trades would be located. Your sell trade would be here. Your sell trade would be here, your sell trade would be in here, and your sell trade would be in here. So when you think about those as possible trade entries, would you be happy with those as big swing trade entries? What do you think? Because you've only had one trigger since the London Open on a macro chart basis. And then you've taken it down, depending upon how aggressive you want to be, you've taken it down into the five minutes to find the liquidity to trade into. You've gone with the flow of the markets. You're never going, the market always has a directionality to it. It's got that Charlie D idea that the market always has a direction. It always has a bullish or a bearish structural bias. And from seven o'clock today, the structural bias on oil has been sell side, sell side only. So what I've got to try and do is inside that structural bias, I've got to try and be short. So how do I find short opportunities? Buy side liquidity. So when I've got a sell side bias, a sell side structure, I want to find buy side liquidity. So I find buy side liquidity here, I find buy side liquidity here, and I find some buy side liquidity here. And I'm able to use that to try and be involved in some of these big flowing market moves. Now, when we think about that, you might be thinking to yourself, well, you know, how big a move can we expect from these types of things? Well, it depends what time, time frame of analysis you want to use for these, right? It's all about finding the time frame analysis that you want to use on these types of trades. You know, when we start thinking about things like the longer term charts, like the hourlies, the dailies, and what have you, then, then that's exactly how you would play these things. You would just look for those trades in the bigger picture time frames, and you would trade down into a lower time frame, one time frame lower. So you would do your time frame analysis on a lower chart to find the liquidity that you are ultimately looking for. And if it lines up with the trade that you're trying to do, then perfect. If it lines up with your value, then perfect. We talked about the value in gold this morning. We lined up the trades in gold, and we found some great trade opportunities.